exhausting. What do you think of the MX? I mean, probably can't pick a better ski for a day like today in conditions like this. Yeah. You know, that mix of boilerplate ice and right. fresh powder is pretty interesting. Yeah, like good grip where it got firm there. And just like, so solid. Yeah, so solid. Unbelievable. Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test. We've got a Kessley MX88 for you today. Real fun on trail carving ski that has that uh, versatility to it that a lot of these 88 to 90 millimeter underfoot skis have. Um, you know, the construction and the shape and the profile kind of set this thing apart from the competition in a good way. Uh, and as always with Kessley, uh, the construction and quality of the materials used is usually a, a notch above, and that follows uh, suit with this MX-88 as well. Uh, so from a construction perspective, we have a central portion of the ski uh, consisting of beech wood stringers, and then the outer portion is poplar wood stringers. And they use thinner stringers and glue them together that kind of creates that smooth, stable, and damp feel uh, that these Kessley skis are known for, uh, and it really works well. So having those thinner metal, uh, wood stringers as opposed to more of a macro block form uh, does give these things a little bit more precision, higher quality feel to it. Uh, that's really what sets this thing apart in terms of core construction. Uh, in addition, we also have two sheets of fiberglass and two layers of metal in here. So. Pretty burly build, sandwich si sidewall construction. Uh, this thing is all there. Uh, so really, you know, that super stable, super precise feel that we're expecting from these Kessley skis, specifically in this MX line, carries right ahead to this 88. Uh, one of the things that sets it apart is the, uh, the profile of the ski. So we get a lot of camber with these ones here and not a whole lot of rocker. So they, they're claiming there's some tip rocker and there's just a little bit of that early rise here, uh, you know, more so for turn initiation than anything. Uh, not adding a ton of versatility to the ski in terms of all mountain uh, <clears throat> versatility, but still, you know, does make it a little bit more user friendly. Pretty minimal splay in the tail here. You know, that squared off tail is really going to hold tight to the end of the turn. Uh, same thing can be said for the taper. So the widest part here uh, lines up with where that splay starts. Uh, that's going to give you a very long effective edge, uh, you know, and, and a smoother turn overall. The longer the edge is in the snow, uh, the smoother the ski is going to be overall. So that's where Kessley really gets uh, a lot of their smoothness and power from. You know, pretty stiff thanks to that build. You know, this hollow tech here does take up a little bit of that, uh, you know, makes it a little more approachable in the shovel uh, by reducing the mass in the shovel here. Any vibrations, they go away faster, so it does help, uh, you know, take away that unwanted chatter. Uh, but overall, from, you know, from here back, this ski is about as stable and strong as it gets. You know, it's a little bit more on piste and carving oriented uh, versus some of the of some of its competitors, you know, an Enforcer 88 or a, uh, you know, a Vocal Kendo, they are more into the versatile side of the 88s, whereas these are more excelling on groomers and in a carved turn. So that's what separates these uh, from those, you know, definitely has more of that on piece carving heritage versus those other ones that are kind of narrower versions of, of free ride skis. So that's what sets this one apart. <coughs> excuse me, 18 meter turn radius and the 180. So it does like to make those shorter GS style turns. Holds a fantastic edge as a result. Um, skier type is definitely gonna wanna be more advanced, more expert oriented skier. Knows how to turn a ski, bend a ski with two sheets of metal. You know, that's pretty important. I would hesitate to put an intermediate on this for sure, uh, as it does, you know, that, that flare on the tail as well as the construction do make it uh, pretty demanding. So you do have to be on this ski. Uh, but no speed limit, you know, no performance limit. This thing is 
top of its class in terms of uh, precision and, uh, and performance. So uh, no worries there at all. So that's it. That is the Kessley MX-88. Uh, fantastic ski uh, from Kessley. Just awesome engineering. Check this thing out at skiessentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.